Dear fathers and our dear brothers and sisters, and our dear faithful and our dear promoters with the TV, welcome to this Eucharist celebration today when we are celebrating the third Sunday of Easter. And we are happy to have with us special guest, representing really the bishops also of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, that is Archbishop Martin Kevuba, who is the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Mombasa. And he said, because I think, as you know, we have been having, we have been having this celebration almost every Sunday now, due to the fact that, well, as you very well know, most of, uh, I mean, our uh, uh, churches, we could not be able to kind of have all the uh, faithful because of what, you know, is uh, touching our country at this particular moment. And on this day today, we are invited to think very seriously of uh, the, uh, the, the situation of the needs also of uh, 
those that are already suffering, those who are already in hunger, and so on. And His Grace, the Archbishop, is going to kind of present this situation and to tell us what we, as the bishops, have thought about for the benefit of all our people in the whole country. So, as we come together, let us open our minds and hearts. Let us listen to the word of the Lord that we are going to hear, and let us also prepare ourselves to be able to receive really the Lord, and who will accompany us as we go on with our life. And with those in your remarks, then, I want to say, Archbishop Karibusana, Isikie, Huko Nyobani, Hapa, Na Utuongoze, Kwa Ibada, Hi Yabisa. Kwa jina la Baba, na la Mwana, na la Roo Mtakatifu. Wana, awe nani? Awe pia nawe. Dugu wasikilizaji na watazamaji wanjia mbali mbali na kutoka sehemu mbali mbali mlio manyumbani mlio katika nafasi za safari sehemu mlio mlio katika nchi za nje ya Kenya na wote ambao mnatuangalia labda kwenye hospitali wagonjwa na zaidi sisi ambao sote kama dunia nzima Tuunganishwa ibada hii tuweze kusali kwa hali zetu kama kawaida tukijua Jumapili ni siku yetu kama wakristu wale tunayemuita Mungu ambaye tunamuita siku yetu ya sala. Ni Jumapili la tatu kama tunavyosikia tunaalikwa tutupe dhambi zetu tuwe tayari kusali kwa ajili ya mahitaji ya wote hao niliotaja na wengine. Wewe naye nitizama ukiwa katika njia, unaye nitizama ukiwa katika hospitali. Tukiangalia na madaktari na waubuzi wengi wanaokumbana na kazi hii na nyote ambao mnaalika familia zenu mkae kama kanisa ndogo pale nyumbani. Tunaanza kwanza kwa kubali makosa yetu kama wa binadamu tunasema tuwakosaji. Tunaomba msamaha kwa dhambi zetu nyingi kwa makosa ambayo tumetenda mengine hatukukosea sisi wengine wengine wamekosewa na wengine tuombe toba kwa makosa yetu tuwe tayari kuadhimisha imisa takatifu na kuungamia Mungu mwenyezi nanyi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno na kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu Nimekosa mimi, nimekosa mimi, nimekosa sana. Ndiyo maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri, bikira daima, malaika na watakatifu wote, nanyi ndugu zangu, niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu. Mungu Mwenyezi aturumie, atusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele.
nafasi twatoa sasa ni kujitoa sisi mahitaji yetu mbalimbali kuliko to those of you who are far and wide in communities to those of you who sit in the families to those who in hospitals or are places of work those who have to work on a sunday we place our desires our hopes and fears our prayers and intentions E Mungu watu wako waone furaha siku zote kwa ajili ya kutiwa nguvu mpya rohoni zao na kwa vile sasa wanafurahi kwa kurudishiwa ile heshima ya kuwa wana wa Mungu waitazamie siku ya kufuka kwao hasa wote ambao umewaita kwenda kwako kwa vifo mbalimbali na hasa waliokufa kwa ugonjwa wa corona wakiwa na matumaini kupewa pongezi na raha ya milele tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Somo la kwanza Somo katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume Siku ile ya Pentecoste Petro alisimama pamoja na wale moja. Akapaza sauti yake akawaambia Enyi wa Israeli Sikilizeni maneno haya Yesu wa Nazareti alikuwa mtu aliyedhibitishwa kwenu na Mungu kwa miujiza, maajabu na ishara alizozifanya Mungu kwa nafsi yake yeye kati yenu kama mjuavyo wenyewe. Kwa azimio la Mungu na kujua kwake tangu zamani huyu Yesu alitolewa nanyi mkamsulubisha kwa mikono ya watu wasiojua sheria mkamuua lakini Mungu alimuopoa na utumwa wa mauti akamfufua kwa maana haikuwezekana ashikiliwe na mauti maana Daudi alisema juu yake namuona Bwana daima mbele yangu Yupo kuume kwangu nisitikisike. Kwa hiyo moyo wangu wa furahi na ulimi wangu unashangilia. Hata mwili wangu utakaa na tumaini. Kwa maana hutaacha roho yangu kuzimu. Wala hutamwacha mtakatifu wako aharibike. Unanionyesha njia za uzima. Utanijaza furaha mbele ya uso wako. Ndugu, afadhali niseme waziwazi mbele yenu juu ya baba yetu Daudi kuwa alikufa na akazikwa. Na kaburi lake lipo kwetu mpaka siku hii. Kwa kuwa alikuwa nabii na alijua ya kuwa Mungu amemwapia kiapo kwamba atamketisha mmoja wapo wa wazao wake katika kiti chake cha enzi alisema alioneshwa kuhusu ufufuko wa Kristu ya kwamba hakuachwa kuzimu wala mwili wake haukuona uharibifu Yesu huyu Mungu amemfufua na sisi sote ni mashahidi wa mambo hayo. 
naye baada ya kupalizwa na kuwekwa mkono wa kuume wa Mungu na kuipokea ahadi ya roho mtakatifu kutoka kwa baba ametumiminia huyu roho kama mnavyoona na kusikia neno la bwana zaburi ya kuitikizana kitikio utanijulisha njia ya uzima utanijulisha njia ya uzima
somo la pili somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu petro wapendwa ikiwa mnamuita baba yeye amhukumuye kila mtu bila ubaguzi kadi ya matendo yake imewapasa kuenenda kwa uchaji wa Mungu muda wa kukaa kwenu hapa ugenini Mmejua kwamba hamkukombolewa kwa vitu vinavyoharibika kama fedha au dhahabu katika mwenendo wenu wa upuzi mlio upokea kwa baba zenu bali mmekombolewa kwa damu azizi ya mwana kondoo asiye na ila wala wa ndio ya Kristo Huyo ameteuliwa tangu kabla ya kuumbwa ulimwengu lakini amefufunuliwa mwisho wa nyakati kwa ajili yenu kwa ujumbe wake yeye mnasadiki kwa Mungu aliyemfufua katika wafu na kumpa utukufu mpate kusadiki na kumtumainia Mungu neno la Bwana tusimame kwa shangilio Yesu tumfunulie maandiko matakatifu ifanye mioyo yetu iwake unaponena nasi haleluya Siku ile ile ya kwanza ya wiki wafuasi wawili wa Yesu walikwenda katika kijiji jina lake Imao maili saba kutoka Yerusalemu nao walikuwa wakiongea kuhusu yote yaliyotendeka walipokuwa na jadiliana hivi Yesu mwenyewe aliwakaribia akajiunga nao macho yao yalikuwa yamezuiwa wasimtambue naye akawaambia Hayo ni maneno gani mnayosemezana mnapotembea njiani? Wakasimama wamekunja nyuso. Mmoja wao jina lake Kleopa akamjibu, "Je, wewe ni mgeni wa pekee Yerusalemu asiyejua yaliyotendeka siku hizi?" Naye akawauliza, "Mambo gani?" Wakamwambia, "Mambo ya Yesu wa Nazareti. Alikuwa nabii Mwenye enzi katika matendo na maneno mbele ya Mungu na watu wote. Na namna makuhani wakuu na wakubwa wetu wa serikali walivyomhukumu afe akasulubisha. Sisi tulitumaini kuwa ni yeye atakaye komboa Israeli. Lakini juu ya hayo yote leo ni siku ya tatu tangu mambo hayo yatendeke. Pia wanawake wengine wa kwetu wametushangaza walikwenda kaburini asubuhi mapema lakini hawakuona hawaku mwili wake wakarudi na wakasema wametokewa na malaika waliosema kwamba yu mzima baadhi yetu walikwenda pia kaburini waliona vivyo hivyo kama wanawake walivyosema ila yeye hawakumuona naye akawaambia Enyi wenye ufahamu kidogo na mio mizito kwa kusadiki yote waliosema manabii. Je, haikumpasa Kristo kuvumilia mateso hayo na hivyo kuingia katika utukufu wake? 
akaanza kwa Musa na manabii wote kuwafafanulia maneno yaliyomhusu yeye mwenyewe katika maandiko yote walipokikaribia kila kijiji walichokuwa wakienda yeye alionyesha dalili ya kuendelea mbele lakini wakamsihi wakisema kaa nasi kwa maana kuna kuchwa na mchana unakoma basi akaingia kukaa nao alipokaa mezani pamoja nao alitoa mkate akaubariki akaumega akawapa mara macho yao yakafunguliwa wakamtambua naye akatoweka machoni pao wakaambiana je mioyo yetu haikuwaka ndani yetu aliposema nasi njiani na kutufafanulia maandiko saa ile ile wakaondoka wakarudi Yerusalemu huko wakakutana na wale kumi na umoja na wenzao wamekusanyika wakawaambia hakika bwana amefufuka amemtokea Simoni nao pia wakasimulia yaliyowatukia njiani na jinsi walivyomtambua katika kuumega mkate Injili ya Bwana Sikilizaji mpendwa mtazamaji mpendwa Kardinali wetu John Jue and the Paris priests come on way, Father come on way, and your team. With our technical team in this basilica, we feel honored. We feel honored because KBC had decided to give you the opportunity to see us. Maybe other channels, Ukweli TV, streaming, Facebook, and other ones. We are here to say to God, it's a Sunday we want to honor you. It's a day of honor to God. But at the same time, a day to cry out to God for our needs and de the needs we have of our brothers and sisters. I know some of you have asked the same question I asked. When will this end? I know many of you have cried quietly or loudly asking when will this be over? In fact, the day before yesterday, or rather yesterday, we are told we have more few days of lockdown. And this is for our good, I understand. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, na hasa nini mlawalala ma hospitalini, tuko hapa, tuko wakumbuka, tuko waombea, na nyote ambao mnausiana na maofisi ya kusaidia watu, Tuko hapa kusikiza mungu wa kiongea nasi. Every reading we have listened today speaks to our situation. And our situation is what? Our situation is the suffering of all of us in one way or another. Whether you have the corona or not, you cannot travel as you used to do before. Whether you live in China or you live in Mombasa, or you live in Nairobi, you cannot interact as you used to do. We are in a situation which we are calling a pandemic of coronavirus, and we are called to walk with it and perhaps realize God does not desert us despite the challenges, despite our problems, despite our issues. And we are called and reminded and encouraged by the word of God. Neno la Mungu linatuangazia semo la kwanza Peter amesimama siku ya Pentecost ametoka nje akaenda mji wao mkuu wa Yerusalemu and he speaks with authority he says gentlemen of Jerusalem you know what that Jesus you crucified in fact he blames them for it he says mlimsingizia you you are envious he was a good man and so on and so on but that Jesus you're talking about is alive, is well, is with us. 
And he continues to tell them, in fact, that Jesus has been predicted by the early prophets and is known that he is a man who came to save the world. And they say, Peter says, we are your witnesses. Are you a witness of that joy any time in your life? Yes, I'm sure. At one time or other. Our second reading talks about to see Baguane. Let's not um, begin to segregate each other and say, this one is this tribe, this one is the other. It reminds us that as we are now, whether we like it or not, we are interconnected by life, by God, that we have been created by him. And he reminds us that we cannot in any way separate ourselves from our brothers. We are brothers and sisters. Our gospel reading, which I like to concentrate a little bit more, is a beautiful story of those who are discouraged and sometimes, like you and me, discouraged by, wow, we thought you would be the one. What were they thinking about? They were thinking Jesus was going to remain around. They were thinking about Jesus will come and liberate them from the yoke of the Romans. They were thinking Jesus will be the one who will be their leader, temporal leader. The president, rather, the Head, head of the state there but they realized that was not the case though they are discouraged and they start to walk away as they walk away they do like some of us in Africa do in Africa if I am joined by somebody on the way I don't begin asking them who are you, what's your name I begin by saying Karibu brother and we chat, we talk, we walk we may be in a bus on a train. We walk and walk until maybe about to part. Then as we shake hands, say goodbye. Oh, by the way, Jinalako ni nani. This is the kind of situation of the two. And they walk as they realize, but this, this stranger, as it were, begins and continues to walk with them, talking about the same things of Jesus. In fact, he asked him the first question, what are you talking about? And he says, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? And lo, lo and behold, he begins, this stranger, to talk about the same. And they walk away, they continue, and they come home. This reading for me reminds of our situation in our world today. When we look at different areas, ask politicians, they ask you, what were we waiting for? What happened to us? Ask the families, what happened to us? Ask the children, what happened to us? Ask anyone. Ask those who run recreational places, educational institutions, what happened to us? What are we going to do? And this is the way we are all asking in the whole world. In fact, as we continue this way, everyone realizes it is not just me. We are all interconnected. Yesterday I asked one of my brothers, what are you going to do with your workers now? And he told me, you know what, my dear? We have to think concretely how things are and decide together that we need each other, but with very difficult moments. It's not easy. That notwithstanding, Jesus continues us as they arrive where they are, we are told in the reading. And as he sits, they, they kind of go into the house, we are told. Jesus is invited in. They didn't know he was the one. He's invited this stranger to join them. Imekua usiku. Saya kafiu iko karibu siondoke, brother. Do that. Invite him or her or them. Ni usiku imekua jioni. Invite them in. Invite them to have a meal. Invite them to have a, a bed. Invite them to walk with you. Your, your sorrow, your problems invite with you. And anyway, he continues to join them, and as they make the bread and join to eat the, the food of the evening supper, their eyes are opened. And I believe this is where we are now. We need our eyes to be opened 
by the, as, as it were, by the breaking of bread today, by this Eucharist we share. Though you are far and I am here, though you are watching from wherever you are watching and I'm here, we want to say, God, open our eyes. Open our eyes to see and hear you. Tell us, don't give up. This is the bread for your journey. Mkate wa uzima wa milele. This is the food you share. In fact, no wonder I say to you, you gave me something to eat. So also share with the neighbor. Share with the stranger. Share with all those who don't have a chance to have a food. Share. So we are sharing the journey, the journey of our faith. You may be Muslims, you may be Catholic, you may be Protestant, you may be whoever. But we are sharing in a common world, which Paul calls our common home. And this environment we have now reminds me of his document about environment. He says, this is our common home. We must take care of it. Let's share in taking care of it, it and more so taking care of the inhabitants who are in it, who are at the moment, at this time, faced with a hell of problems. Hell of problems. So as I part the short, I want to remind myself, this Sunday Christ is reminding you and me, he speaks to us through the word of God. That's one strong pillar of our faith, wherever you are, whatever Imani you belong. The word of God, it may be a Muslim, comes to you as a, as a Quran. To the more Hindu comes as a Gita. To another by their book. To us by the Bible. The word of God speaks to us. It's a strong pillar. Maybe it's a time, look at it again. Read it out in the family. Let the young fellows begin to read in the family. Let them think what he's saying. Word of God. And again, the next pillar I think that will strengthen us in this matter is our common prayer. We are here because we believe in prayer. Christ believed in prayer. Occasionally he went with his disciples in places, high mountains, in the lakes and other places. Let's get aside and be with ourselves. They prayed and one time God revealed them to him, to them, when he became and his face was shining. Let's pray so the world can shine despite the suffering. And he was going and continues to come with us. It's a moment also to remind ourselves of who those of us who receive the sacraments, be it Eucharist. Today we have a spiritual union, communion. And that is why sometimes it's so difficult for the religious communities, Polenisana, for priests in the parishes, and even people who are used, all of us are used to churches and going to pray on Sunday. Unfortunately, a few of us have got into trouble. And I think it's the hunger to pray with other people. It's the hunger to pray with other people. I was in a meeting the other day and somebody said, we have a spiritual hunger. Yes and no. We have a spiritual hunger, but we can receive remotely. We can receive a dose remotely by this experience we are having today. Do not be afraid. Even though you are two or three, he says, Jesus, I am there with you. Pray with your brothers and sisters. The last but not last, the last thing is that these brothers of Emmaus shared their bread. Are we sharing enough? Are we giving out what we don't need or don't, don't need until it hurts, as somebody said? We are called to share our bread our even fears with your brother, let them talk to you and tell you what they're afraid of. Of course, the fear is the greatest. The finance is one of those. Death is another. And some have already experienced people dying in their family or others very sick. Share with them. Let them share with you too in a manner, maybe on a phone, maybe on an email, maybe on a Twitter, maybe on a Zoom, and let's have a chance, and more so, thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity. Last but not least, God cares and loves us, and no one is too small to be cared for. We are all sons and daughters of the same Father. 
who called us to tell us, ask and you shall receive, knock shall be open, search you shall find. Our doctors are searching for cure. Our preachers are searching and looking, take care of their, uh, their flock while they're afar. And we are praying even at remotely. So may God bless our work. And may God bless all of us in this country and beyond. And more so, all of you who are able to communicate with one another through any other means, more so media and large in Kenya, they have been very, very, very kind. God bless all those who run these media houses and all those who are coming on board. We want to say welcome so that we can tell the world like Peter, Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. God bless you. God bless our country. God bless our world and more so those who are sick and the doctors. Last but not least, we want to wish our brothers, the Muslim, who begin their Ramadan sometime this week or so, a happy Ramadan. We know the challenges. We know we are with you in prayer. And thank you for the support given already by all those who have shared with us. My dear brothers, let's stand for the creed. Nasadiki kwa mungu baba mwenyezi. Mmoja. Baba mwenyezi mumba mingu na dunia. Na vitu vyote vina vionekana na visi vionekana. Nasadiki kwa mungu mmoja Yesu Christu bwana wapeke wa mungu. Aliezaliwa na baba milele yote. Mungu aliyetoka kwa Mungu mwanga kwa mwanga Mungu kweli na Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye Mungu mmoja na baba ambaye vitu vyote vimeumbwa naye ameshuka toka mbinguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu akapata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu kwake yeye bikira Maria akawa mwanadamu akasudubiwa pia kwa ajili yetu sisi akateswa kwa mamlaka ya Pontio Pilato akafa akazikwa akashukia kuzimu akafufuka siku ya tatu ilivyoandikwa akapaa mbinguni amekaa kuume kwa Mungu Baba atakuja tena kwa utukufu kwa hukumu wazima na wafu na ufalme wake hautakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa Roho Mtakatifu Bwana namleta uzima atokae kwa Baba na Mwana anayeabudiwa na kutukuzwa na baba na mwana aliyenenwa kwa vinyo vya nabii na sadiki kwa kanisa moja takatifu katoliki la mitume na ungama ubatizo mmoja kwa maondoleo ya dhambi na ngojea na ufufuko wa wafu na uzima wa milele amina ndugu zangu tumuombe Mungu baba mwenyezi kwa wema sala zake azipokee kwa ujumbe wa Yesu Kristu bwana wetu. He bwana Yesu, wafuasi wako walishawishiwa sana kuacha kuamini baada ya tukio la Ijumaa kuu. Lakini uliwasaidia kwa kuwatokea kuwa mzima baada ya kufa kwako. Utupe sisi neema ya kuamini ufufuko wako. Bwana utusikie. Tuna kuomba utusikie utuondolee mashaka yote kuhusu uzima wako katika utukufu wa mbinguni bwana utusikie na kuomba utusikie unajionyesha kwetu kupitia kwa neno lako imarisha udhaifu wa imani yetu bwana utusikie bwana tunakuomba usikie utuimarishe kwa mkate wako ambao ni wewe mwenyewe katika enzi yako ya kimungu Bwana utusikie. Bwana tunakuomba usikie. Utuongoze sisi tukufuatao katika njia na mashaka ya hapa duniani ili tujaliwe kushirikishwa katika utukufu wa mbinguni. Bwana utusikie. Bwana tunakuomba usikie. 
Pia sala zetu ya baba Mungu Mwenyezi Tuasali kwa imani kwamba wasitusikiliza mahala tulipo Tunaweka sala hizi mikononi mwako kwani ulitupa mama atusaidie katika mahitaji mbalimbali Ulipomwambia Yesu tazama mwanao Mama huyu ni Maria ambaye tunamlibia siku zote katika unyonge wetu tukisema Salamu Maria umejaa neema wala yunawe umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na Yesu mzao wa tumbo lako mbarikiwa Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu tuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa ya kwa kwetu amina naomba haya yote kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu Salimi ndugu na dada ili sala zetu mahitaji yetu na mahitaji ya wale wanaotuomba sala yapokelewe na Mungu baba Mwenyezi. Kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake na pia kwa mafaa yetu sisi na mafaa ya kanisa lake takatifu. E Bwana tunakuomba upokee dhabiu za kanisa lako linalofanya shangwe na kama ulivyolifanya furai sasa sana ulijalie pia furai ya milele tunaomba haya yote kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu
na Bwana awe nanyi. Awe pia mioyo. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vema na haki tukutukuze kila wakati. E Bwana mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele. Lakini hasa wakati huu kwa shangwe kubwa zaidi kwa kuwa Kristo Paska wetu ametolewa sadaka. Yeye ndiye mwana kondoo wa kweli aondoaye dhambi za dunia aliyeshinda mauti yetu kwa kufa kwake akaturudishia uzima wetu kwa kufufuka kwake na kwa sababu hiyo watu wote wanaitukuza siku kuu ya Pasika kwa furaha kubwa popote duniani nao malaika wa mbinguni wanaimba wimbo wa kukutukuza wakisema bila mwisho kweli mtakatifu na chemchemi ya utakatifu wote tunakusi usakaze kwa nguvu na roho wako dhabihu hizi ili ziwe mwili wetu ziwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristu yeye alipojitoa kwa yari yake ateswe alitoa mkate akamshukuru akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akakushukuru tena akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe wote hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Fumbola imani Yesu tunapokumbuka kufa na kufuka kwake mwanao tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikombe cha uokovu tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umejalia tusimame mbele yako na kutumikia tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu roho mtakatifu atufanye tuwe jamaa moja sisi tunaoshiriki mwili na damu ya Kristu e bwana 
Ulitumike kanisa lako popote duniani. Ujikamilishe katika upendo. Sisi pamoja na Baba Mtakatifu wetu. Francisco nami askofu wa jibo kuu hili na askofu mkuu kwa jibo kuu la Mombasa na askofu David Kamau mtandisi wetu hapa na watumishi wako wote wakubuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko wakubuke na marehemu wote wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba uturumie sisi sote ili tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kusifu na kutukuza pamoja na Maria Bikra mwenye heri mama wa Mungu Yosefu mume wake mitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale tunakuomba hayo kwa jia ya mwanao Yesu Kristo Kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele sasa tiunganisha nia zetu mbalimbali na mahitaji mbalimbali sote tutatambua tuwana wa Mungu mmoja ambaye ni baba pamuita baba katika sala ya kusali tukisema baba yetu liye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe falme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupeleo mkate wetu wa kila siku samee makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamea na sisi wa leo tukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini tuopoe maovuni e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu tuepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tungojee kwa matumaini urudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo E Bwana Yesu Kristo liwaambia mitume wako na wachieni ambani na wapeni amani yangu usisitazame dhambi zetu kwani sisi ni wakosaji tazama tu imani ya kanisa lako na ulijalia amani na umoja kama alivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele na amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi hata manyumbani Mwana kondoo wa Mungu ondoae dhambi za dunia uturumie Mwana kondoo wa Mungu uturumie e Bwana Yesu Kristo Mwana wa Mungu mzima Kulileta uzima duniani kwa kifo chako kwa kumtii baba na kwa msaada roho mtakatifu tuokoe kwa mwili na damu yako hii takatifu katika maovu yetu yote na mabaya yote tuwezeshe daima kuzifuata amri zako wala usituache tutengane nawe kamo Tazameni mwana kondoo wa Mungu Kristo ile aondoae dhambi za dunia. Heri wote tunaalikwa kushiriki karamu ya Bwana. E Bwana sistahili ingie kwangu. Lakini na roho yangu itapona. Mwili na damu ya Kristo vitulinde tupate uzima wa milele. Amen.
My Jesus, I believe that you are praising the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
wafuasi walimtambua Bwana Yesu katika kuumega mkate. Na tuombe E Bwana tunakuomba utuangalie kwa wema wako sisi taifa lako. Utujalie tufufuke na miili mitukufu sisi ambao umependa kutufanya wapya kwa mafumbo haya ya milele. Na hayo yote tuliyoyaomba kwa ajili ya wenzetu wa nyumbani, wa hospitalini, wa uguzi na wengineo uweze kuyapokea kwa huyo njia ya huyo Kristu. Bwana wetu. Kabla ya baraka ya mwisho. Tuna mambo mawili tumeongeza kusema na kufanya. Kwanza tunapowashukuru wote mlio tushiriki nasi hasa walio mbele yetu kueneza habari hizo KBC, Ukweli TV, Captain TV, Twitter, Facebook na wengineo. Na wote ambao wameweza kusaidia kazi hii kutendeka. We are sure somebody is footing the bill somewhere. We want to thank you all. And now before we end, I like to use the occasion to give you a greeting of all the bishops in Kenya. Because of time factor, I'll only mention the metropolitans. We have four metropolitans. These are sections or areas that the bishops reside. There's a coastal area, there's a western area, there's a northern area, and a central area. One of metropolitan near Kisumu, Askofu mkuu wao ni askofu Philip Anyolo ambaye ni mwenyekiti wetu baraza la maaskofu na anatoa salamu pamoja na maaskofu wake wote. Asanteni na pokeeni salamu zetu. Wale walio sehemu ya Nyeri, askofu mkuu wa kule ni askofu uh, Anthony Muheria ambaye anao majimbo ya kule sehemu hiyo anawatoa salamu zao pamoja na maaskofu wake. Wale wanaoishi Nairobi si mwingine askofu mkuu katika eneo la Metropolitan ya Nairobi ni kardinali wetu ambaye tuko naye na nashukuru nafasi aliyotupa tutumie kanisa la kwake Wale wa Mombasa mnao nitizama mimi ndiye askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva Musonde nina majimbo mawili tu kule Garissa na Malindi wanawapeni salamu zao na asanteni sana kwa wanasi Mwishoni kabisa tumetambua na tunatambua kwamba hatuwezi kuendelea na hali ya kusaidiwa tu watu wengi wametuuliza how can we help you So my dear brothers and sisters I want to read a statement from the conference and as a chairman of the Caritas Caritas Kenya fraternity which every diocese has a caritas office like that we want to compliment what the dioceses and the parishes and also the government is doing our counties are trying be present follow the regulations mzee wa mtaa yuko lakini tunaambiwa kuna tatizo fulani fulani huko sehemu za chini tunataka tuombe misaada mbalimbali so as a church we have decided we are going to launch at this level now what we call a Caritas Kenya appeal. This is all the bishops together to request you to request everyone who is able to assist us so that we can also complement and supplement what the government is doing. My dear brothers and sisters allow me read it out because it's a very short one and I want to go straight away to the, 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 the matter. As you're aware, our country is facing an unprecedented time of history when we are an, an encountered with one disaster and another 
As April 23, 2020, 17 new confirmed COVID um, cases were reported, bringing the number and confirmed cases of Kenya to 320, 320. Further 14 deaths were announced or reported, giving case fatality of about 4.62 percent. So my dear brothers, this is the reason that we feel we need to call attention to ourselves, first of all, to ask you to act according to the instructions, the instructions of the um, Minister of Health, and at the same time, the instruction given by our government, distancing, washing of hands as the basic, one of the basic ways of taking care of this. We are happy now and to know that some dioceses and parishes and people have launched now an emergency response as an initiative of collecting funds, collecting money, collecting food to supplement all that the government is doing. Kindly note that the health commission in our dioceses, in our places of work, the religious men and women are part of that. So Caritas is asking and requesting that we all pull together to raise funds, to raise money, to raise food, to supplement. It is not possible, I don't think it is possible, for everybody to say all of us together and be fed by the government from the top to the lowest. We are targeting the poorest of the poor, the neediest of the needy, and wherever we are, we are asking also for transparency. Remember last year, we were talking about corruption. There could be those who are saying, wow, it's a high time to make money. No, it's a high time to save lives. It's a high time to share with the needy. So this call is being made to all of us as Kenyans, wherever you are, as Caritas, dioceses, wherever you are, as families, the parishes where you are, I know it's not easy for everyone, but I'm sure some of you have something to spare. Don't hide it away only for yourself. Let's share like the disciples we had today shared. Last but not least, we will demonstrate with you or for you or send you or share with you the contacts on where to send that money or that food but the first place you start is the nearest person, religious persons to you, the parish, the religious community, the community where the church operates or the mosque operates or the Hindu temple operates. I'm sure there are all those organizations. As religious people, we are always, always ready to help when assisted. We need your help. So I'll move over, I'll ask our cardinal to come over. We want only to bless this initiative. It's a little too far, you may not be able to see the writings, but it's an initiative of prayer. So as we bless you all at home, as we bless you, all of you, wherever you are, remember we are thinking of you and how to assist you. So, with those few remarks, allow me to invite the Cardinal. We give you the final blessing as we launch our Caritas, uh, uh, Caritas appeal at a national level and asking you at the diocesan level to go ahead with the authority of the church. God bless you. God bless all your generous support. And we thank all those who have already given the possibility, has helped us, has supported us. Thank you, and God bless you. Your eminence. So we will just invite a blessing, and as we bless your blessing, the initiative
The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God now bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Our Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.